Welcome back in, y'all, to the Vikings franchise. Week 8, 4-1-1 one one, Minnesota heading into Los Angeles to take on the 2-4 and four Rams Thursday night. Prime time. First things first, I want to show you guys. There was a couple things that I did go ahead and do off camera. It's in league transactions. We went ahead and traded Lewis Seen. Like I said, I was going to in the previous episode. Um, I was going to trade him the Bills because that's where he signed in real life for the practice squad. But the Bills didn't have any cap room. And I didn't want to take on another player because I was just going to elevate a guy up the practice squad. So I just sent him to the Patriots because they had cap room. They didn't really have a starting free safety over 70 overall. So just sent him to the Patriots for a six-round pick. That was it. Um, I elevated Jay Ward from the practice squad to play another safety spot for us to fill the rest of our roster. And because of that move, I went ahead and extended Cam Bynum on a three-year $18.6 million contract. So he's getting roughly about six per year overall. So that's all I went ahead and did off camera. We do have a defensive back breakout. Let's go ahead and see who this is. Who's going to get a development trade upgrade? It's going to be Cam Bynum, who we just extended. How's it going, coach? Looking at Cam Bynum. He's been playing well, and I think pushing harder this week could result in a big step forward. What do you think? Four tackles and two TFLs. He's a safety. I'm, cha I'm changing that goal. Let's push him harder, but I have a different expectation for him this week. Four tackles and two pass breakups. It's tough. I can't. Maybe I should. Oh, my gosh. It's tough. He's a safety. I mean, one pick is gonna not going to be easy because he has to be in the right place, right time. Four tackles and two pass breakups. Um, Two plus TFLs, force fumbles, pass breakup, well, pass deflection, two sacks. I guess four tackles and two pass deflections. He is a safety. We're just going to hope he can do that. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen. It's going to be tough. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough with safety because, like, they kind of they kind of do a little bit of everything. It's not one thing they're gonna specialize in. So, all right, Cam Manum does have a chance to go to superstar dev though, which would be huge because we just extend him. Scouting national focus. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and continue what we were. The plan was all along. It is going to go ahead and be cornerback. I think getting another really good young corner in there would be good for us. Seems like every year the Vikings are looking at cornerback. I'll lead us in here to the weekly strategy. Stafford, Tre'Davious White on the Rams now. But as we know, the big thing with the Rams is trying to find a way to defend Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. All right, our only new injuries from the weekly training are starting right guard. Ed Ingram's going to miss the week with a broken finger. And our backup, Questenberry, right tackle, is going to miss the week with a broken finger. At least one week with a broken finger. How do they both break their finger in practice? Whatever. Got to upgrade our players here before we uh, move into the gameplay today. It's only J.J. McCarthy. And we're just going to go ahead and rip field general for him. He is up to about a 75 overall. Maybe a 76 with the minus one morale. But plus one, plus one throw accuracy deep, plus two throw accuracy mid, and plus one throw under pressure. Sam Darnold does remain the starter as of right now because he's been playing as well as he has. But JJ is getting better uh, behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and let's get into this game and hopefully come out with the win and maybe get lucky and get Cam Bynum up to superstar dev. Let's look at Darnold's stats this year. 14, 76, 15 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. We are here in LA, SoFi Stadium. This is my franchise team from last year, the LA Rams. So, um, yeah, going to be very familiar with this team. Well, a little bit. Obviously, in franchises, the rosters get a little shaken up pretty quickly, you know, because... You're drafting, you know, auto-generated players and whatnot, and you're getting out a bunch of the non-good players on the team. But, yeah, back in SoFi, taking on the Rams, my former team. We will not be getting the ball first, but we are underway here from SoFi. But 4-1-1, I mean, we're having a really good year so far, so hopefully... Ooh, Harrison Smith lowering the boom. Let's go. But here comes out Matthew Stafford. Blake Corum looks like he's out there with them as well. Maybe Kyron's here. We'll go through their uh, team, but Stafford 14, 70 in the air, nine touchdowns and six interceptions. We will go ahead and check out their depth chart together here. See, maybe Kyron's out or something. I'm not 100% sure, but Stafford, Jimmy G, Stenson Bennett, nice. But yeah, Kyron Williams. Okay, so we got a lot of Blake Corum and Zach Evans here today. Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, Tutu Atwell, receivers, Tyler Higby at tight end. They got Braxton Jones at left tackle, Jonah Jackson at left guard. 
Steve Avila at center, Kevin Dotson, Rob Havenstein. Okay. Braden Fisk, left end, Kobe Turner, right end, Shelby Harris, Bobby Brown, Jared Verse, stud, Ernest Jones, middle linebacker, Michael Hoyt at right outside linebacker, Jadavius White, Darius Williams, Kobe Durant, John Johnson, and Cam Curl. Yeah, so a lot different than my Rams team last year. A lot of different faces on this team. We don't have any allegiance to these guys other than Puka Nakua, who's on my dynasty in both. He's on both my dynasty rosters in uh, fantasy football. I'm in two dynasty leagues, and freaking Puka's in, on both my teams. So hopefully he's good. Second and eight for the Rams here. He's got Cooper Cup over the middle, but he also had Tutu Atwell, who could not catch that pass. Crazy third and eight though, passing down here for the Rams. We are sending five and sitting in zone see if someone can make a play and get home take him we're trying to take away the middle of the field with cashman but tutu Abel beats byron murphy on the outside and tutu Abel makes up for his drop earlier with a big play down the right side of the field and they're across the 50 at r43 first run well second run of the second run of the day here for the rams it's going to be blake quorum picks up six i forgot they ran on that first down i was like first run of the day no it's second run of the day for them but Blake Corum, Blake Corum, no Kyron. Puka's got superstar dev. Cup's got X Factor. Okay. Oh, he's going to Puka right there with Cashman. Nope, not fast enough. Puka Nakua just fighting off tacklers. Finally, Byron Murphy's going to drag him down, hit him down, basically. But they're all the way up inside the 10. First thing to go from the Rams, they're moving the ball here. They're coming out, looking to score on us. But this is where our defense excels. If you're keeping up with the series, you know what our defense does in the red zone. Typically doesn't give up touchdowns like that. Tyler Higby gets in. And that's not a good start for our defense. Way too easy. We got him. I mean, we got to third down on the first couple plays. It's third and long. 2-12. We made a play up the sideline. And then it took him like three plays. But we're going to be playing from behind today. First play of our drive is going to be a give to Aaron Jones. And not great blocking there from Christian Darisaw. Yeah, Aaron Jones had three on the ground last week. Yeah, he played pretty well. Our offense played amazing last week against Detroit. We just absolutely dominated the Lions at home. A little bit of a different story here so far today, even though it's early. Just going down like that right away. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to go underneath there to Aaron Jones. Not a great ball by Darnold, and it's dropped by Aaron Jones. Third and eight. I kind of went a little, maybe a little too quickly there. But here on third and eight, let's see what we can do. We're going to try to sneak that to T Hawkinson. What a catch. What a ball by Sam Darnold. Put it right where only TJ Hawkinson can get it. And Hawkinson made the play. Stretch play now to Aaron Jones on the outside. Like to try to get him involved anytime we can. Use your speed, Aaron. Get to the edge. Nope. Ernest Jones drags him down. Pick up a two. Nobody over the center. I'm just going to turn. We'll see if we can go up the middle. Aaron Jones. Oh, man. Little cutback. Michael Hoyt there to make the tackle. Yeah, they kind of clogged that pretty quickly there. Third and seven. Hmm. All right. I guess they want us to run all goes, though. We'll see. Can we sneak that over the top to Hawk? We can, dude. We can. TJ Hawkinson, great catch. Hawkinson having a great day here so far on our first drive, making two big-time catches for us there. And on first and 10, let's see what we want to do here. Should we try it? We should try it. Yeah, we're wide open. Justin Jefferson, welcome to the end zone, buddy. Welcome back to the end zone. I think it's like his... Dude, he might already have like 10 touchdowns this year. <laughs> Justin Jefferson's gritty in here in L.A. Random man bench route concept on the outside, and they're not. I mean, they can't. He, they can't keep up with Justin Jefferson. Literally, corner of the end zone, one on one, no chance. We knock this thing right back up. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I realize how difficult getting Cam by of superstar dev is gonna be. Which I mean, that's kind of it should be. It should not be easy to get a element straight. Like the upgrade should be like they should deserve it. Like they should have a great game. But yeah, two pass deflections. Pass breakups and what four plus tackles? Like the four plus tackles, I mean he can get that, but two pass deflections. You really just gotta, gotta get lucky and be in the right spot for it. Second one, it's gonna be a give to Corum. Can we use? Yes, we got him. Ivan Pace came up, made the play on that. Be third and one. Chance for our defense to get off the field here. Would be nice. Would be nice. Let's see what they want to do. Cup in motion. It's gonna be a run play. It's gonna be a run to Corum. We're all over that. Let's go. Who made that play? Jerry Tillery in the backfield. And they got some, they got somebody or someone's on the sideline for him, but that's all right. But all right, we'll get the ball back. Aaron Jones getting here up the middle and most running room so far of the day for Aaron Jones. Wow, I thought he was going to get slowed up for about eight, but nope, kept fighting forward. 
First down for Minnesota. One play, one give. Aaron Jones gets the first down. Pass play here. Justin Jefferson, Jalen Naylor moving on the right side of the field to the left. We're going to try to get that to Naylor. We get his, we threw it in second and ten. Should be able to run on this box. Really light. We got everyone spread out. Give me that block. Nope, it's going to be holding. Damn. Light box. It was going to work. To, it worked so well, man. Holding. They're gonna. That's going to back us up, man. Who is it? You're fired. Back up, Blake Brando. You're fired. Second and 20. Going back to Aaron Jones. Yeah, this time. Nowhere to go at all. It's starting 17. You got to come out and look throw. Yikes. Should we just chuck it to Jay Jets and see what happens? Might be the move. Might be the move. We're gonna try to get, we're gonna try Addison. Aggressive catch, Jordan Addison. Nice play for the second year man, Jordan Addison. He's been relatively quiet. I mean, he had a couple. He had a couple touchdowns, a few touchdowns this year, but he's been quiet. But you know, we got Justin Jefferson and T.J. Hawkinson, so those kinds got to get kind of get fed. We got set your feet, Darnold, and we got Justin, and it was underthrown. He threw it behind him. No, I purposely set my feet so we could get it to him. Darnold, that's... Oh, man, bad ball. Really bad ball. Sorry about this, guys. I just gotta... I mean, it's the it's the right read. I literally purposely set my feet. I was like, set my feet, lead him, and... Can I get on the ball? Thank you. Yeah, like, this is such a... I threw it way behind him. The ball needs to be, like, damn near, like, in front of Hawk's face. <laughs> or a little bit. Maybe a little. Not, not so much, but... All right, that did take us in the first quarter, though. Disappointing, Sam. Disappointing throw from Mr. Darnold. That's an easy one, too. Those, those are the easy ones you can't be missing. Speaking of missing, <laughs> Stafford just airmails Higby. Give decorum here on the outside. Makai Blackman's there. He can't make the tackle, but slows him up for Jonathan Grenard. And Blake Cashman go over there and make the play. Third and 12. Five wide set. Pass play. We're backing everybody up. Only blitzing three. Hopefully we can, you know, have good coverage on the field here. Screen pass. Screen pass. Screen pass. Oh, no. Come on. Someone come and make the play. Thank you. All right. Fourth and five. They're going to punt it. I mean, I think this is a go for it spot in real life. But, you know, just like Madden and college football, the CPU just doesn't really know what they're doing. So they're punting it back to us. And oh, that is in the end zone, right? Good. All right. Touchback. We'll get the ball in the 20. Give me a ball. Back to Aaron Jones here. There's not much running room so far. There's been a there's been a couple of plays where there's been a little more, more room than none, but we're stacking the box. Because I'm going to look to throw here. We're going to look to throw. We're stacking it. We're going to try to see what we can do. We're just going to go right there underneath to Josh Oliver. He picks up the first down in some up to the 36. First and 10. Give to Aaron Jones on the outside. Let's go. Stiff arm. Fight him off, Aaron. Second inches. Should have been first down. Give him the marker. It's the NFL. You should be giving him that spot. Nine times out of ten. Or ten times out of ten. Turn to give. Halfback dive. We should be able to get this. No problem, right? Yep, let's go. Oh, that was funny, but all right. Let's go. First and ten. We're throwing. We're just going to dump it underneath to Aaron Jones. Just go up. Pick up some yardage. Picks up nine. Second and one. They're bringing a blitz. They're bringing a blitz. Addison... Just could not get it up to him. I, do, I think we might have had TJ. We might have had a hawk underneath, but Addison was open there. I'm flipping this run play to the left. I like the, the set over here to the left. Looks more intriguing, and that's exactly why Aaron Jones, use your speed, gets the edge. Up to the 32. Let's go. First and 10 pass play for us. We got Addison. Yep, Jordan Addison makes the catch. In the red zone, I'm just worried. <laughs> I'm worried that that uh that slant the window to make that throw close pretty quickly, but it all worked out. Hatback toss here to Aaron Jones. Oh no, nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Losing three. Damn. Keeping on the ground here again though on second and thirteen. Just trying to follow some blockers. They bounced off of our offense line real quickly. And it'll be third and eleven. All go routes. Great. Great. It's always fun to see if I can find an open man. Hawk, over the top. Just oversailed by Darnold there. All right, we'll have to set up for a field goal. That's all right, though. Will Riker from 35 yards will be up and good. No problem. We're going to take a 10-7 lead here with, about, with three minutes left to go in the second half. Second quarter. First play of the Rams drive. It's going to be a play-action pass, and we're getting the sack, baby. Dallas Turner. 
Read that thing like a book. Stafford rolled out right into Dallas Turner's hands, and that's a big time sack. Second and 19. They get up something, and we could use a timeout here. We might be able to use a timeout if they don't pick up much here. Like, we come and make that tackle. Let's go. Yeah, we'll use a timeout. Third and 16. I'd like to get the ball back before that two minute warning. Get that two minute warning on our side, right? So if they get this short, we might use another timeout, maybe. We'll see. Third and 16, though. Screen pass. Someone's just got to come and make a tackle. Thank you. We'll go ahead. We'll use another timeout here. We'll have 209, about two minutes left with the two minute warning, hopefully, and a timeout. Kenny Nwangu just got cut in real life, funny enough. All right, we're going to have one play with the two minute warning. Then we got to use that, save that timeout to maybe set up for a field goal or something because the Madden runoff is insane. And I got to remember about the Madden runoff. I got to remember the Madden runoff is ridiculous. We're going to try to get Hogginson underneath there. It's fine. No, it's not. Please tell me he was down. Tackle him! Everyone was just not doing anything. What are we doing? Please tell me he was down. Please tell me he was down. Darius Williams, touchdown. Hawkinson puts the ball on the turf. He wasn't. I don't think he was down. I can't challenge it. Maybe they're going to do it for me. Nope. Hawkinson puts the ball on the turf and the Rams pick it up and score a touchdown. Well, wasting those using those timeouts did not work do anything for me. God damn it. 14 to 10. Minute 50 here. Basically two minute drills, one timeout. And that dude, two turnovers for offense today, man. Cannot happen. Darnold, just get rid of it. Obviously, obvious passing situation. We're just gonna dump that off to Justin Jefferson. Get up the field. Hop on out of bounds. So the flag! Trinity White's hitting him late. But yeah, look at Justin Jefferson's number. 50 catches, 793, 9 touchdowns. And this is only game number 7. First and 10. We're just going to see if we can dump it to Aaron Jones. Maybe not been, Maybe not the smart move there. The no huddle scares me. Yeah, see, you don't even want to no huddle. There's no runoff. It's like college, like college football. It's the same thing. If you don't do no huddle, there's no runoff. Oh, no. Darnold, 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 Darnold. Get rid of it. It's going to be third and eight. But yeah. Don't no huddle because the clock runs way too much time off. Guys, just don't even have to do no huddle and you can, you can be fine. Justin Jefferson is not on the field right now on third and eight. That's something you don't like at all. We're just going to go to Aaron Jones quickly underneath. Aaron Jones bouncing off one. Let's go. Not even going to worry about hitting the hurry up. No, no huddle. Clock doesn't run any extra. Ridiculous. Dude, everyone's so tired. We got our freaking third string receivers in. Sherfield, Nikhil, Harry, Brandon Powell. Why? That's not who we want in the game right now. Darnold's getting sacked. Damn. I had guys. I just was worried. That's why I didn't throw it. Can we get some? Thank you. That was good. It's fine. At least we got Justin Jefferson, Jalen Naylor back in the game, and TJ Hawkinson. But Hawkinson, if he fumbles again, I might kill him. Underneath to Justin Jefferson. Choose your speed. Get to the outside. Pick up the first down. Get out of bounds. First and 10. Screw it. Addison over the top. Ah. Nope. Second and 10, Darnold, 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 Aaron Jones, get out of bounds, fine. All right, picks up three. Third and seven now at the 22 here. All right. If we don't get this first down, they're going to use a timeout maybe. We'll see here. Third and seven, though. Underneath to Justin, not going to be able to get the first down. I should have went to Hawkinson. I should have went to Hawk. Yeah, they're going to use a timeout here. He wants to kick. Hmm. I guess we'll take our points. It's still, I mean, it's only, the, it's only the first half. We'll take our points. We'll go ahead and take our points. Will Reichard is going to put the field goal up and good. It's going to be 13-14. They're going to have 27 seconds with two timeouts. First play for Stafford and the Rams. going to be underneath there to Higby. Make that tackle. Thank you. Make him waste that timeout. Don't make him go out of bounds. Make him waste that timeout right now. And what are they? I mean, they need, like, what are they at? They're at the 35. Probably need to get up to like the 40, their 40, our 40, I guess. Our 40 to kick a field goal, roughly, more than likely. We'll see, though. Stafford's just going to go underneath to Blake Corum. Ivan Pace is going to make that tackle. That's going to use their last timeout, and that's huge. That's huge because we know what this man run-up does. If they throw the ball inbounds, if they throw the ball inbounds and they don't get out of bounds, this clock's going to end. First and 10, or are they going to go? Yep, they go outside, and he gets him out of bounds. All right, they're up to the 48. It's going to be Hail Mary. No, no Hail Mary yet. 
Probably gonna look quick to the outside. Something, man. It's gotta be. It's gotta be it. They're gonna look to the outside. Try to get out of bounds quickly. Like that. And yeah, word cup. That's up to the 39. Now they can now they can kick a field goal. Yep, and that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna go ahead and set up for the field goal. They did exactly what they needed to do. Why would our coach suggestions not be on special teams? I don't understand that. But 56 yard field goal for the Rams here. It's not Tanner Brown, the GOAT from last year. And the field goal's money. Great job by the Rams there that, on that drive to go get points. It's going to be 17-13 here in half, I believe. We do get ball though to start the second half. All right, really big drive for our offense here to start the second half. It's definitely it would be nice to score. Tone center to start the second half, come out, get points. Aaron Jones on the outside. Use your speed, man. Just use your speed. Picks up seven. Second and three. Aaron Jones, he's been effective relatively today. He's had a couple runs where he's got like nothing. It's either been like seven plus or like one yard. There's really been no in between. As there's a nice first down for him. As he gets like five there, <laughs> there's your in between, but it's first down, so it's a, it's a big time positive run for us. Any play action here? Now we'll just run. We're going to audible to a pass though with Flood. Flood concept. We're getting sacked. Nice. Second and 20. We're going to try to find Addison. Perfect. Perfect quick slant there by Jordan Addison. Picks up 13. Gets more than half of that back. Darn seven, man. I don't want to say four down territory because that would not be smart. We need to flip the field if we don't get this, but we need to really pick this up. Darnold rolling out. Picked. I got so lucky that wasn't intercepted, man. I thought I could float it over that the his head on that. Rolling out. I, I, right here, I look, I'm like, Hawkins, I was like, I can't, Addison, this is covered, this is picked. Travis White either come, runs back, makes that play, or the high safety makes that interception. Hawkinson's covered by him. I was like, can we float it over that linebacker's head? Is he even a linebacker? Linebackers can't jump. Who is this? Jared Verse, he's a linebacker. Linebackers can't jump. That's BS. But, yeah, just tried to get it over Jared Verse's head. To, uh... Justin Jefferson, and of course it does not work. We got a punt in our first drive. First play for the Rams. It's going to be a play action pass. And we're getting a sack. It's Dallas Turner. He's showing out here on Thursday night in front of all NFL fans. Dallas Turner showing what he can do today. Second sack for him today. Let's go, Dallas Turner. Love to see it. That's why he was the thumbnail last Vikings video because he's a freak. How many times do I got to say it? Run? Nope. I bit on a run play. And he throws it out there anyway. It's fine. I don't care. They pick up two. Third and 17. Just back everybody up. Guess and pass. Everyone needs to move back a little bit. We all know they're going to throw. We are blitzing four, though. Someone should get home. That'd be nice. Someone get home. He's going to go underneath. Just come and make that tackle. Cashman, thank you. All right. Great job, our defense there. Nothing happening. Dallas Turner sets that up for them to go three and out. And we'll get the ball back. First player for our offense is going to be Aaron Jones. For one yard. How was that only one yard? Christian Derrissaw's hurt, dude. Christian Derrissaw. Buddy. Why? No. I don't like injuries to my offensive line. Aaron Jones going nowhere. It's their intended. God. Lee. Pulled groin. Not coming back. Great. Awesome. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna block Aaron Jones. Just to get a little bit more here. No, no, no. Darnold. Justin Jefferson. And we got a punt. Definitely the most frustrating game so far of the series. Like, just cannot effectively move the football this game. Run to Corum. I'm there with Cashman. Yeah, cannot move the football on offense. And it's a, it's annoying because our defense all in all is playing pretty solid. It just sucks that, like, our defense actually is playing good. I mean, they've only given up 10 points because they had that fumble recovery for a touchdown. It's like, man... Pick that. Nope, my Kai Black. It's not going to be able to jump up high enough to try to knock that down. First down for the Rams. But, yeah, defense, that's why it's even more frustrating. Because, like, defense is playing fine all in all. Only giving up 10 points. Our offense just can't do anything, man. They had a fumble. Fumble six. Plus, they had the... Oh, I got to take away this. That seed done. This needs to be intercepted. Thank you. Caleb Evans gets the interception. Stafford's just trying to make a play on that. It did not work. No, Cooper Cup, don't make that tackle. Yes, get off me. No, how do we not keep our feet in our feet? Okay, whatever. But yeah, Darnold's done a pick. 
Darnold's on a pick, fumble six, and he should have had another interception when Jared Verse dropped that. But hey, defense gets one back at least. That's a positive. Can't believe we did not stand our feet there. But it's basically like a punt for the Rams in a way, although it was not third down. But all in all, it's okay. Aaron Jones cannot make Michael Hoyt miss. We lose two. Second and 12, we are going to look to throw. And there's just no, there's nowhere to go, man. There's nowhere to go. They just get home so quickly on that play. Like, I, Darnold was able just to get out of that sack and throw the ball away. It's all we could do. Third and 12. Ugh, the frustration levels are rising, boys. Third and 12. Can we get that to Hawk? Aggressive catch, TJ. Nope, we cannot hold on. And we got to punt right back to him. What we really need is a defensive turnover on this side of the field. We need the ball from our defense where we can stand up, we can like start on the Rams like 30 or 40. That's what we need. That would, that's what would help our offense, I think. Because at least that case, maybe worst case scenario, we get a field goal. But we don't want no field goal at the same time because we're about to be in the fourth quarter here shortly. Second day for the Rams. Give me another give here to Corum. Dallas Turner makes a nice tackle, but he does drag him forward. And it's a pickup of three. And this is probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. Assuming they snap it. Maybe they'll take it. Nope. Last play of the third quarter here. And Puka's wide open on the curl flat. All right. Rams are going to have the ball basically at the 50 at the 48 to start this fourth quarter. First and 10 for the Rams. It's a play action pass, and I bid on it. And, yeah, he's got Puka. Byron Murphy can't make the tackle. Harrison Smith pushes him out of bounds. They're up to the 29 inside our 30. And a touchdown here probably will kill us. A touchdown here will probably kill our hopes of the, to win this game. Just with not enough time here. I just bid on another play action pass. It wouldn't have mattered because I would not have been covering that. But good lord. Stafford, man. He's picking us apart right now. Fortunately, though, this is where our defense locks in. They already got their red zone touchdown today. They don't get another one. Not possible. Not possible. Ivan Pace. Nice call. Comes up makes that tackle on Blake Corum. Second and 10 now. Another give here to Corum. Nowhere to go. Ivan Pace making plays. Only pick up a one. Ivan Pace is being a menace right now. And this is, here it is. This is the play. Third and nine from the 11. I find it hard to believe that they're going to pick up a first down. So either probably going to be a touchdown or short. Touchdown or short of the marker. More than likely. Third and nine. Over the top. Intercepted. Makai Blackman. I need you to get on your horse, Makai. Huge interception, Makai Blackman. Please pick six for Minnesota. No, Blake Corp, get away. Yes, we're going to get there. Let's go. Huge. Literally, we needed something like a huge defensive play from our defense. Stafford makes a bad decision. Makai Blackman picks six here in the fourth quarter. It's going to give us a lead. Let's go, boys. 2017. And how about that, boys? Right on cue, our red zone defense. Just right on cue, makes a play. Pick six, Makai Blackman. As here we go, Puka Nakua. One play, 22 yards up to the 46. Just got to either find a way to get off the field before they get in field goal range, or if they kick a field goal, that's like the worst thing we want to happen here. So the touchdown here would suck. I was going to say, no way he's holding on to that. Nice hit by Makai Blackman. Second and 10. He's going to go quickly underneath. Not Probably not the greatest read there by Stafford, but because it's only a pickup of three. Third and seven. I mean, this is the this is the down, man. We get off the field here. We can do our best to waste clock, and hopefully they don't get the ball back. Third and seven. It's going to be a pass. It's going to be a pass. Stafford's got nowhere to go, and he's throwing away. Let's go. Defense. Defense is playing great today, man. Like I said, they've been playing great. Had some had some couple miscues. That's gonna happen. It's the NFL. All in all, great performance so far by our defense. We're gonna get the ball back about midway through the fourth quarter. And we're gonna have a chance. Can we catch this and return it? No Wangu. That's why you got cut. <laughs> Not actually, but yeah. We're gonna have a chance to run some clock here, which is big. Really need to find a way though to flip the field as much as we can. Aaron Jones, get that to the outside. Stiff arm. Didn't really get the stiff arm off, but it's a pickup of six. But yeah, we at least need to get a couple first downs here because if we just have to punt it back to them, they're going to have a great field position. We need to pick up a few first downs and waste as much clock as obviously possible. Run this thing down. 
Now giving it to Aaron Jones. Great blocking. Great blocking there by our offensive line and Justin Jefferson picking up the linebacker DB. Whatever, whatever is a linebacker DB in the second level. It was a bit, great block by Jefferson. And that's going to give us a three more plays to continue to hopefully run this clock. At least two. I mean, the plan, we got to run the ball in first and second down. Basically, in third down, it might be, it's a, you know, more of a chance to throw the football, obviously, if we need to try to pick up first down. But Aaron Jones on the ground, cutting it back. Nice block there by Hawkinson. And I love that. I love a pickup of nine for, to make it second and one. That is money in the bank. This will get down to about 310. We'll be right back into Aaron Jones's hand. He's being a bell cow. He's being a bell cow this drive. Second and one. Give to Aaron Jones. First down and more. No problem. Aaron Jones. He's going to go. <laughs> Aaron Jones. Crib call here in L.A. He's turned around and looking at him. Aaron Jones might have just sealed it here for the Vikings. Great blocking, man, that drive. Especially, like, you'd think the Rams would be set up to, like, to defend the run because they're like, we, they know they want, we want to run the ball and waste clock. But our offensive line did its thing, man. 27-17, to 17, we lead. Four plays, 94 yards. Money. Rams are going to have about three minutes here to overcome a 10-point deficit. And that's, I mean, that's a good start for him. Chunk play to Marcus Robinson. 12-second runoff for them, though. I mean, they're, like I said, they're best just not even freaking hurrying it up. That's what they need to be doing. Uh, to the outside, and that was an interesting, good, I mean, it's a good ball by Stafford. Interesting throw. Pick up five, gets out of bounds, stops the clock. But they got all three timeouts. I mean, so if they somehow get out and score pretty quickly, they don't have to kick an onside kick. But hopefully that doesn't happen. If they're gonna score, we need to make him we need to make it take some time. Second and five, obviously passing. I'm taking away Puka. He's gonna go to Cooper Cup on the other side, and we're just not tackling. It should have been a gain of like five to ten yards, and it's a freaking gain of Damn near 30 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly where they were. More play for the two-minute warning. Yes. Make a mistake, Stafford. I'm throwing it away. All right. Two-minute warning. Stafford looking. Going underneath to Corm. Can we tackle him in bounds? No. Nope. Corm gets out of bounds. Pickup of nine. Third and one at the 14. But, hey, what do we always talk about? What are the Vikings best at? Red zone defense. This is what we're known for. This is what we hang our hat on. We hang around him forcing field goals. Outside the cup. First down. First and goal at the five. Oh, gosh. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Please. Please. Nothing stupid. Nothing dumb. Pass play, of course. And over the top to Puka. I mean, I don't know where we were. We had, like, three guys over there. And we let Puka get behind us when there's, like, no room for him even to get behind us. Minute 43. They have all three timeouts. I mean, it's going to come down to, can we pick up first down? If we can pick up first down, the game's over. If we can't pick up a first down, then, well, this is going to get interesting. But we're going to run the ball at least twice right away, and then we'll consider throwing. Back-to-back -back runs to at least get rid of two of their timeouts right away. Aaron Jones on the outside. We're going to cut it. Jared Burst tackles us forward. For a pickup of three, it's second and seven. I like the outside run. I do like the halfback stretch to the outside. It gives us more room to operate. I mean, because look at, ooh, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I was thinking, it looked like they were kind of all in the box, and they kind of spread them out there last second. Aaron Jones just cutting it back because there's nowhere to go. And now it's decision time. Do we run the ball and waste their last timeout, or do we let them have the timeout? I don't think it's the NFL. I think they've shown how quickly they can move the football. I think throwing the ball to try to end this game is the smart decision. Here we go. Chance to end this football game. And we're getting hit as we threw it, dude. Offensive line just selling. We went from basically going to win this football game because we're up 27 to 17 with three minutes left to we can lose or go into overtime in like two seconds here. I just feel like this is the most Vikings game ever. Like, up 10, three minutes left. You're feeling good. You're like, nothing in the world can hurt us. They're in field goal range already. But we literally, we go from like, yeah, we're fine. We're going to win this game. We're up 10. And now we're basically praying that we get overtime. Oh, my God. They're going to score. Where? This is horrible. This is terrible. We're going to lose this game, dude. 
There's no way. We need Stafford to throw us a pick. I need you to gift me something, Matt. Can we get home? Throwing it away. Just score the touchdown. If you're going to score the touchdown, just do it. I need more time. Oh, my God, guys. There's no way we're going to lose this game. We are. I mean, we are. We're gonna, they're going to score a touchdown, and we're, there's no way we're going to be able to get down and get points. There's just no way. Stafford, we need to sack him. He's throwing it away again, dude. Our red zone defense is insane. But it's going to take one more play, man. Here we go. Please, defense. Please. Third and goal at the two. Cups open. Yep, and Cups going to make the diving catch. What an insane turn of events. They just erased. They were down 27 to 17. They just scored 14 points in two minutes and like 25 seconds. Are you kidding me? All right, we have 30 seconds. Fortunately, we do have all three timeouts, but that doesn't necessarily matter. First play, might as well. Not gonna work, all right. Uh, well, it only wasted five seconds. I was like, we might as well just try to see if we can get Justin Jefferson to make a play on the outside or something. All right, I'm gonna block Aaron Jones just so we have an extra guy blocking for us. Darnold's gonna just take off, man. All right, whatever. I was looking at Jefferson. I was, I was literally looking at one player. 19 seconds, great. We have to score a touchdown. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the issue here. Oh my gosh. This is not good. This is not good. I just wasted way so I should have just thrown it away right away. I mean, it's over. Four than five, 10 seconds left. This, this thing is done. We are so cooked. Four than five, here's the game. We did. They, we, they just send it. Yeah, I mean, they blitz, and that's going to do it. We lose 31-27. What a terrible loss, man. Quentin Lake gets home on the sack. 31-27 is going to be your final. We're going to drop to 4-2-1. and one. Rams are going to move to 3-4. and four. And what do you know? Vikings lose on primetime. Who's surprised? Not me. Take a look at the stats here. Darnold was 16 to 30 for 189 yards, one touchdown, and one pick. He was okay today. He wasn't good. He wasn't horrendous. He was like fine, but uh, more towards bad than good. If I had to put it on a, a lean one way on the scale, Aaron Jones 22 152 and a touchdown. He had a 70 yard touchdown run. If you take away that 70 yard run, he has an okay day. He just it looks amazing because he had that long run. Jefferson, five catches, 62, and a touchdown. Aaron Jones, four for 25. Addison, three for 49. Three for 39 for Hawk, and one for team Josh Oliver. Defensively, Pace had 11 tackles, 10 for Caleb Evans, seven for Dallas Turner, six for Harrison Smith, five for Brian Murphy, five for uh, Cashman, and yeah, Cam Bynum had two two tackles and no pass selections. Yeah, it was going to, I mean, there was nothing we could have selected there that was going to allow him to do that. Get the breakout. Dallas Turner had two TFLs, one for Grenard, one for Tillery, one for Pace, one for Cashman. Dallas Turner had two sacks, and we had two picks with Akilah Evans and the pick six from Rekai Blackman. Riker was two for two from field goals. But yeah, man, I think the story of that game was just, I just don't think our offensive line gave us time to do make plays. I feel like uh, we had to make a lot of quick decisions, or we were throwing the ball away. I just, I, I feel like the offensive line didn't play well today in pass protection, all in all. But of course, we'll go through the DB breakout. We know we did not make it happen, unfortunately. So I wonder what they say when they didn't get it. Interesting, 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 interesting. We set a different goal for you in that game. But as a defense, you guys played well together and did some good things. Yeah, I agree. We, we, we sucked late, but all in all, it was good. I didn't have the game I wanted, but like you said, we did some good things. Yeah, that's true. Can't mind, we got 2,500 XP. At least that's positive. At least you get something out of it. One new injury. Is it going to be Darisol? Darisol's back oh, hurt again, dude. Oh, my gosh. So, Eddie Ingram's going to miss next week. Our backup, David Clustenberry, is going to miss next week. But Darisol's going to miss another, like, game, a few games. Like, you know, Mike, he's played, like, three games, maybe. Maybe two. Probably three games in total. But, yeah, there goes our franchise left tackle again for three weeks. But, yeah, that takes us into we got another Thursday night game. We're playing back-to-back -back Thursday night. All right. Five and three Colts, four, two, one Minnesota Vikings in the next episode. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Comment anything down below. Sub me new, of course, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.